Hi, my name is Laura Berg. I'm having trouble uploading this video because on July 31st, 2017, I had an accident. I hate calling it an accident because I wasn't driving. The girl that ran me over was on Snapchat. I don't know. I don't know how you can just not care about other people in the in the road. It's not only you. And uh, now I have problems. I have a. Uh, I have narcolepsy. Um, I have problems pronouncing it, pronouncing it, pro pronouncing the word I want to say, and I forget stuff. So. It's, it's hell. And people are like, well, that happened in 2017. Get over it. Uh, no, not get over it because I'm going through it. And if I want to clean my house, I have to get on the floor. And I, well, I have to look for what I'm looking for to clean. And to get back up, I, it takes me a, a while. Uh, I used to love working out. Um, I work out, but it takes me a while to get back up. I can't do uh, jumping jacks. I can't even jump. I can't run. I can't drive. Um, there's things that I can't do that I used to love and I, I used to love enjoying doing. <laughs> I had a baby. He was eight weeks old when she ran me over. And a mother should know what I'm going through because that bond, I missed it because I was in the hospital. I was in a coma. So I didn't get a chance to bond with my baby. There's a lot that I was going through and that happened in my life that I don't wish upon anybody. I don't want nobody going through what I'm going through. I had seven kids, all natural. Because I wanted to avoid having a C-section because I, I didn't want to scar my stomach. <laughs> so I worked out when I was pregnant. I would go for walks. Um... And when I was in Bethesda and I realized that I have a scar in my stomach, I was like, what? So they had to open my stomach to make sure I didn't have internal bleeding. But it's not just one scar, it's a lot of scars. Why? I have no idea. And uh, I went through another doctor to see if he could remove some of my scars. <laughs> And I woke up during the surgery and I told him, I can feel you cutting me with a knife. And he put me under again. And I woke up again when he was doing surgery on my arm. But I just kept quiet because he was almost all done with it. So what else do you do? He had me on uh, oxycodone and other medicine that I weaned myself of because when I got home, I was like, you know what? They're not for my heart, so I'm not going to take these. I don't need them. And my stupid doctor put me on depression pills. Because I started crying because I'm 36 years old. And I have arthritis. It's like that's something I'm supposed to get when I get older. And now I have it. That's why I started crying. And... He put me on depression pills, supposedly because they help with the pain. Huh? No, they don't. I begged my doctor to do surgery on my left arm because I couldn't bend it. And I wanted so bad to bend my elbow and lick my, my fingers. And she didn't want to do surgery at first. I was like, I want you to. And she was like, uh, well, what if I accidentally 
cut your nerve and then I'm I'm gonna screw you because you're not gonna be able to able, able to move your arm at all. I was like, I don't care. I want you to try. So luckily, hey, she got it. So now I can touch my face. There's a lot of things. Like I have a lot of contacts and I can't wear them no more because I can't. I hate wearing glasses. But that's stuff that. I guess I just have to do it. It's just people, please. There's other people on the road. Please put the phones down. I see a lot of people still on their phones while driving. So I talked to the people in the Senate and I want to bring a more enforced law here because we need it. We need to save other lives. I don't want nobody going through what I'm going through and what I'm still going through because <laughs> I can't run and my little one he knows I can't run so he runs away from me it's cute but it's it sucks I mean I can't give up the fact that I can't drive anymore but I'm going through a lot I mean, uh, my self-esteem was like, oh my God, I was so in love with myself. And now I have a lot of scars. So I'm trying to learn how to live with myself with scars. So, you know, I have, there's nothing I can do now. Well, what's so important for you to be on your phone? That's what I want to know. Can you please answer me and tell me what was so important? Why did you have to be on Snapchat when you ran me over? Because I don't believe that, that you're having nightmares. I'm sorry, but I don't. After the way your family looked at me when I was going to court, no. They looked at me like I was the one in wrong. Like, oh, poor my baby, no. I'm sorry, but no. My mother, huh, she's Mexican, and she would have hit me in my head if I was on my phone. I don't know what your parents taught you, but I hope you're not doing that no more. I really hope so. And I'll continue to post more videos. I'm learning, so it takes me a while.